What's up YouTube and welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. Today we are going to be running over Bitcoin as well as the dollar. Yes, there's some exciting stuff going on in crypto. Levels that we need to be watching and potential reversals happening on the dollar. Things that could completely change the entire direction of crypto and really start sending massive amounts of money into the market capitalization and send all of these coins to the moon. So let's talk about what's happening with the dollar here in a second, but before we get started, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I genuinely appreciate it. Also, at the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, do not forget to share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you prefer. That goes a long way for me. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So looking at Bitcoin here, you guys can see that Bitcoin has started to bounce off of the support level from our last video. And it did go ahead and go up to 2100, uh, 300, 20, 21,300, excuse me. And that level is our area that we want to see prices break up above and clearly break through. So price pulled back a little bit on the short term here. We're at 20,700. But really, we want to go back up to that $21,300 level and push through that level with confidence. And that will take us straight to the $25,000 level on Bitcoin. Now, we've already started to see that there's definitely buying pressure down here in the market. We see a lot of altcoins took off, you know, hundreds of percents from their lows. And we see that Bitcoin had a lot of buying pressure from basically 18,000 all, all the way up to 25,000 in this move here. So there is a lot of interest in Bitcoin down here. We can see it in the volume. Volume is way higher than before. We can see it in the price of altcoins as they're taking off, they're rallying. So we see people are interested in undervalued Bitcoin. Now, what could be happening, why this could be happening right now is because of the dollar index. So the DXY is the US dollar index. It basically shows the dollar's value over time. And you can see that once the dollar started rallying here, it really started to rally in April of 2021 and started to pick up towards the end of the year. And then by the time 2022 was here, the dollar was completely mooning. We're talking it's just going up and up and up, right? So because of that, crypto, of course, saw an inverse correlation to that. Crypto dumped, the dollar mooned, and this was just a kind of a short-term move, really. This was only a couple years worth of upside on the dollar that caused this drop in the crypto markets. Now, what I think a lot of people are anticipating right now and what we can watch for in these charts together is actually a reversal of the dollar. So we can see five waves up here. This is very, very similar to you guys as the five wave structure we saw on Bitcoin from 3,000 up to $14,000 per coin. This was back when it was bottoming after the 2018 bear market. So in 2018, we had one year worth of downside on Bitcoin and it fell 80%. Now, when that bear market bottomed, Bitcoin went from 3,000 all the way up to 14,000. It did five waves up. And then once it hit 14,000, it came back down to double bottom and crashed all the way back down to basically 3,000, just a little above 3,000. And then of course, after that, we know Bitcoin went all the way up, up to 69,000 per coin. But what I'm seeing in the dollar right now is the same five waves up it looks a lot like Bitcoin at 14,000 before it came back down to three, which would mean that, that the dollar is going to see a huge correction here. This correction could be, you know, all the way back down to the same levels we saw 
back here before this huge pump even happened, which means that if the dollar crashes like this, which we're already seeing massive rejections on the dollar, it's not looking so hot up here. If it fails support, this is gonna cause massive amounts of money to flood into crypto, just like how when the dollar started breaking out, money left crypto. The exact inverse thing can happen at these lows. And, and we do see that buying pressure. We do see that interest, which is necessary for Bitcoin to start reversing, to go to 31,000 and even higher. And we're starting to see that selling pressure, which is necessary for the dollar to reverse, to come back down and start to crash. So what, what we can kind of deduce from this is that it's important to look at the dollar right now. It's important to keep an eye on the dollar, especially if the dollar fails support like it looks like it's going to. We have a lot of rejection happening. Prices, just like how Bitcoin is showing buying interest down here and altcoins are mooning down here. We're seeing so much buying pressure at this $18,000 level. And then, of course, like the six cent level on Dogecoin. We're also seeing selling pressure on the dollar, which means there is not a lot of people looking to buy the dollar up here. Most of the orders look like it's selling pressure. There seems to be a lot of people willing to take profit on the dollar or short. Really the only people that are gonna be buying up here are the noobs, <laughs> or let's use maybe a nicer word, beginner. The beginners, you know, that's a little bit more kind. Uh, but but the beginners to investing, the beginners to trading, they're going to be FOMO buying the dollar. They're going to be selling their crypto into the dollar and basically doing the exact opposite of what the market makers are doing. And the market makers are the ones that are selling up here. They're selling into all those those beginners, those noobs, just like how they're buying Bitcoin right now. Well, all those noobs are selling. So this is kind of the psychology, you guys. The dollar's gonna affect Bitcoin. And just like how people FOMO by the top of Bitcoin, they're gonna FOMO by the top of the dollar, or at least think that they need to sell their, their stocks or their crypto into the dollar. And therefore, they're basically buying the dollar with their stocks, right? You have to look at it like that. You know, if you're selling your Bitcoin, you're buying dollar with your Bitcoin. So you're actually betting on the dollar being being a high performing asset. And that can occur in short term price swings. We do see that the dollar from the bottom in 2021 until now has been going up. So it's not like the dollar can't increase in value. It can be the right place to have your money at certain times, but it's a fallacy to think that the dollar is just going to always rise in value or to think that by selling your your Bitcoin into dollar, you're somehow going into a stable asset. You're not, you're selling one asset that's moving in value for another asset that's moving in value. So if you're going to sell your Bitcoin for dollar, you better be sure that the dollar is going to be rising in value for that period of time. Otherwise, you're making the wrong choice. You're actually doing the opposite of what you should be doing to make money. So yeah, you guys, this has happened before, you know, in 2014, um, when Bitcoin was really bottoming out at, at $180 in 2015, in 2013 and 2014, the, the bear market happened in Bitcoin and it fell 80%. And you can see, well, that bear market happened, the dollar was rising. So it would have been wise to buy dollar with your Bitcoin before that bear market, because obviously the dollar was the, the higher performing asset during that period of time, but it's not always true. And overall, the dollar is in a massive downtrend and Bitcoin's in a massive uptrend. Bitcoin. If you look at Bitcoin on the logarithmic, if you want to talk about the trend as your friend, if you look at Bitcoin on the log chart, Bitcoin just looks like a massive uptrend that keeps going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. It looks like a developing technology that is very high demand that just keeps growing. Where if you look at the dollar, I mean, the dollar is in a massive downward trend and it has been for a long time. And that's not likely going to change. There's going to be periods where it rises, but overall, the dollar's in a downtrend.
So big picture, the wise thing to do is actually, yeah, you can have dollar at certain periods of time, but the wise thing to do is to be investing in uptrends, not downtrends. So that's just something I want to share with you guys today. Again, with Bitcoin, we want to see that $21,300 level broken above with confidence. I do suspect we will do that. Um, even if price was to go back down to 20,000 again, right? We're at 20,700. Let's say we lose $700 or let's say we lose even even 900 or 1000 dollars and we test 19,800 again, right? If Bitcoin was to test this zone right here, really wouldn't matter. Um but yeah, let's watch for that 21,300 level to break above and of course, just like we discussed in our last video, Let's watch for this $18,000 level to hold as major support on Bitcoin. Those two things happen and 25,000 is our next stop. If we get to 25,000, that's gonna be really clear that this market's bottoming out. You can be sure that your next liquidity zone is also gonna be tested around 31,000. So we, we do have a lot of upside here on Bitcoin. And we have a lot of people that because of the bear market, this happened in the last bear market as well, because of the bear market, they kind of have PTSD or they're scared of investing. So they're like, oh, I'm gonna take profits really early. But the truth of the matter is, is that when bear markets bottom out, a short squeeze event happens. And let's look at what that looks like. If you wanna see what a short squeeze event happens, look at Bitcoin from 3K up to 14K. This is what I was talking about earlier in this video today. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five waves up, just like the dollar. Look at that. Let's go back to the dollar on the daily time frame and drop back down to how we had it. You can see here with the dollar, we have five waves up, just like the same thing that we saw with Bitcoin. This is what a short squeeze rally looks like. You know, from 3,000 up to 14,000, Bitcoin did not pull back very much at all. People would have been expecting pullbacks. But instead, because of a short squeeze, the market kept going up and did not pull back significantly and rather caused a lot of liquidation events on short sellers. So the same psychology is happening right now on the market. We're going to have a lot of people that are saying, oh, I'm going to take profits really early because I got, you know, I didn't do it enough before the drop, so now they're scared and they have trauma from it. So that they're, they're just, they just wanna take profits really fast. But now is the point of maximum financial opportunity. And taking profits too soon and too early is a huge mistake. And so a short squeeze rally is very possible here. That could send Bitcoin all the way to 31,000 in no time in which case all these people that are trying to swing trade all these little moves and take profits too soon are gonna be left in the dust. So yeah, that's my view on Bitcoin. I do think we're gonna see a huge reversal here. I do think the dollar is gonna reject and we're gonna make a lot of money. Let's focus on the dollar and, the, and Bitcoin and the key levels. If we focus on those levels, I promise you that you can go ahead and pull a lot of money out of these markets. Uh, it's just, true it's it's one of those things where once you see that there's a setup with a 79 percent probability you're not gambling anymore and you're doing way way higher probability than any casino could ever give you and taking a trade with a 79 percent probability in your favor yeah you can just make money watch the levels and make money that's what we're doing that's that's so much fun to do in these markets so watch the dollar watch bitcoin thank you so much for tuning into today's video i love and appreciate you so let's talk a little bit about the mastermind and the one-year vip the one-year vip we have been trading signal after signal lately you know we bought luna c before the pump we bought dogecoin before the pump we bought matic before the pump i mean we're not gonna get into too much detail, but we've been hitting trade after trade after trade in the one year VIP. We also have the lifetime, which is the same thing, only it lasts a lifetime. So, you know, for you, if you, what, what we wanna do here is, is you wanna pick one of these two options, either the mastermind 
or the one year, or of course the lifetime, which is very similar to the one year. So one of these, one of these options is the best way you can start making money in these markets. Start following these setups and really just profiting. So the one year, the thing with the one year and the lifetime, it's basically designed for newcomers, complete beginners to be able to follow my setup, see why I take certain trades, watch some videos, you know, so you can learn from those videos, what I've, what I've learned in my journeys, how to count waves, support resistance, that type of stuff. It's really about beginners making money, having a very good entry position to start making money. Now, the mastermind is really about coaching. It's really about tuning in every single Saturday so you can actually get live sessions with me and get more of a coaching aspect where we're tuning into live webinars for an hour. You're learning exactly what Fibonacci levels. You can ask questions live. You know, we have other live members. So, you know, you just want to pick one of these two options if you're ready to start making some serious money in these markets. Like I said, either the one year VIP, which is also kind of slash the lifetime, right? It's the same thing. The only difference is one last a year and one last lifetime or the mastermind coaching, which is a lot more of a, of a coaching structure. So, yeah, if, if you want to pick one of these two options so you can start making money in these markets right away, these are the two best solutions um, to really learn how to invest in trade. So the one year starts at $799. That is a 20% discount. I can get you set up today. The lifetime uh, normally would cost $2,500, but actually I could get you guys set up today for $19,999. Yeah, and the mastermind coaching, you know, we were originally looking at charging like 10,000, but we ended up bringing it down to something that, that more people could be able to do because we really want to see, you know, people make 10,000 or a million. Like we've had members that have already made massive profits in their portfolios over a million dollars. So the, the goal is really to see everyday people be able to get coaching and change their lives. So we brought that down to $4,999. Yeah, and links in the description below for either of these. And you can choose one of these two options here to start making money in the markets today. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Let's work together and let's pull money out of these markets. There's a lot of opportunity every single day. So thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I love you. I appreciate you. Join the Discord if you're not. Links in the description. Again, share this video with your friends if you found it valuable. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. As always, stay profitable out there.